All right, guys, let me show you what we've got. We have a sky that's just fine right now. You had a great looking day out there today. It was nice and dry. Well, still nice and dry, 45 degrees. Keep in mind, your high temperature today was 46. You hit that like around, say, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We basically hung out there all night long. We have a red alert that goes into effect tomorrow night at 9 p.m. until 7 a.m. Saturday morning. About three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch and a half or two inches of additional rainfall. And our ground is already saturated. Of course, the rivers, we've shown you that. They're already high. So flooding, a big concern. Gusty winds, maybe 35 to 50 miles per hour, especially along the coast. So coastal flood threats are in place as well. We'll take you through everything. Winds. We have a wind advisory for the Jersey Shore where you can find those big winds out there. But don't be fooled, okay? South Shore of Long Island, you're going to be dealing with the southwest wind at times. You're going to have the big winds as well. Uh, South-facing beaches, get a big inundation of water. I'll show you everything, how this comes together. The storm right now out around Kansas City, pushing into the Tennessee Valley. It gets to our area, not during the morning hours, not even like 3 p.m. There's your picture. It's going to be after the sun sets. Okay, clouds are certainly in place. Here we are, 9 p.m. Rain, west of New York City. A little bit of snow out there. Pike County, Sullivan County turns to rain. Heavy rain, in fact, at 12 midnight. So I think the toughest hours with this storm, uh, not quite as long a duration as the last one. I'd say maybe like, you know, 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. And then by 4 a.m., the heaviest stuff is out around the east end of Long Island. This is where we could actually see the biggest rainfall totals, like a two-inch reading uh, problematic out there. And then you still see you got still rain that's lingering at 4 a.m., but by 8 a.m., when a lot of you are starting your day Saturday morning, it's not with us anymore. Now we're monitoring the rivers. But with that wind coming in off the water, yep, you've got to be concerned about coastal flooding and the amount of rain. Looks like it's maybe an inch. You saw 1.9 out around Montauk. Those wind gusts, maybe 50 miles per hour, could give you two to three feet of in inundation. Water above ground level, then the temps drop. Saturday morning, 11, you're 56. Monday morning, you're 26. So any moisture, if it's in place on Tuesday, and there's a chance it is, there could be some snow flying around for Tuesday. But right now, the story is Friday night into Saturday. A red alert for more rain coming to the area, exacerbating the river problems. And, and also just freshwater flooding for low-lying areas because the ground is so yeah, last thing we need, drenched with rain. Okay, thank you.